extremist Islamic fanatic sends hundreds of British young men to join Al-Qaeda terrorist organization in Syria. Geneva consultative meeting today would define the date of the Geneva 2 conference to find a political solution to the crisis in Syria. A security alert in Cairo follows the capture of large amounts of weapons and explosives intended to be used in terrorist operations. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Art Television in Damascus. Security and intelligence departments in Denmark state that said that 80 young men from Denmark were sent to Syria to fight with the opposition and the terrorist organization. At least seven of them have already been killed. The British paper, The Independent, revealed that the fanatic extremist Angam Schwadri, who lives in Britain and receives financial support, leads a large network to recruit young men from Britain to smuggle them into Syria and to join Al-Qaeda terrorist organization there. A meeting is held in Geneva today between the United Nations envoy to Syria, Al-Ahlal Ibrahimi, and Russian and American representatives in an attempt to define the date of the Geneva 2 conference and to find a political solution to the crisis in Syria. Diplomatic sources in New York said that the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon would declare the date of the conference after this consultative meeting. The meeting will be attended by Al-Ahdar al-Ibrahimi and the Deputy Foreign Ministers of Russia and America. The crisis in Syria and the ways to solve it politically will be the main objectives of talks to be held between the Russian President Vladimir Putin in his visit to Italy and the Vatican. Moscow stressed the necessity of finding a suitable peaceful solution to the situation in Syria. The Russian and Italian leaders will also discuss important international issues. They will lead the session of plenary Russian and Italian consultations between the two governments. In the same context, the Italian Foreign Minister, Imo Bonini, asserted that there is no alternative to the political solution in the Syrian crisis. She also expressed Italy's support for the endeavors to be held, endeavors to hold the International Geneva II Conference on Syria. Moving to field developments, either Homs Syrian Arab army units killed all members of a terrorist group who had infiltrated from the village of Zara and tried to attack the villagers of Al Birdayat in Tel Kelech countryside. Syrian Arab army forces also repelled an attack by terrorists on the guarding posts of the Western Dam, killing dozens of the terrorists and destroying their weapons and ammunition. Also, Syrian Arab army units eliminated several terrorist groups between the villages of Abdal al Kabira and Al Khalidia. In the city of Homs, Syrian Arab army units carried out a qualitative and specific operation against the terrorist gatherings in the neighborhood of Jurat al Shayyah, destroying three hideouts by the terrorist leaders near the mosque of Al Jura and in the vicinity of the endowment building, killing many terrorists. Also in Idlib and in the countryside of the governorate, Syrian Arab army units carried out a qualitative operation, destroying the terrorist gatherings and hideouts in a number of villages, killing many terrorists. After one way of the Iranian agreement with the group of 5 plus 1, which is described as historical and uh, the agreement of the age, Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Jawad Zarif stressed that the Iranian steadfastness managed to gain Iran its right to peaceful nuclear power enrichment. He also stressed and asserted that Iran will maintain the nuclear techniques as a right that cannot be taken away from it. Zarif said during a press conference, no one can dictate on us, and the West learned how to deal with the Iranian people through mutual respect. 
the French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius announced that the European Union would begin to reduce sanctions imposed on Iran starting from next month. France was one of the states that hindered the signing of the agreement between Iran and the six countries concerning Iran's nuclear file. France was thus trying to satisfy both Israel and Saudi Arabia, which were harmed by the agreement. However, France ultimately approved the content of the, and the international approval of this agreement. Going to Egypt, where the Ministry of Interior and National Security intensified security measures in Cairo after receiving threats of terrorist attacks against major departments and hospitals. The security forces captured large amounts of various weapons and explosives. The Assistant Interior Minister said that the campaign also resulted in capturing terrorist organizations and nearly 100 prisoners who had fled from various jails during the January Revolution in Cairo and other cities. The security forces also captured large amounts of drugs. China made an official protest to the American and Japanese embassies in Beijing concerning the reply of both America and Japan to the establishment of an area of air defense in the eastern China Sea. China stressed the necessity of identifying the character of such an area to be in line with the United Nations Charter and the international laws and practices in order to protect the sovereignty of the Chinese state and airspace. With this, we come to the end of our news for today. For more details and to view this post, again, you can visit our website in English, www.serialonline.sy. Stay with us after the break, the latest in economy and finance.